Okay, welcome everyone to another update. Today is Wednesday, November 11th, okay? And I'm going to get right into the update. Guys, these updates are going to be every day now. But what I'm going to start doing is making sure that I start first thing in the morning to get these updates out. I want to have them out even during the U.S. session. Normally, I don't have the updates out during the U.S. session, but guys, there's a lot going on, so I'm going to have to put them out early and look forward to it, guys. And it's some great things happening. I'm also going to start adding the uh, current market movement and current market value charts so you guys can follow along and see how things are going with the strategy through the MyFX book. So there's some great things taking place. Let's get right into it. All right. As you can see, guys, this is current market value. You remember this was at 24,000 bits yesterday. Now, also keep in mind that there is both both current market movement and current market value. There's a lot of alignments taking place right now. A lot of alignments taking place right now. So you're going to see a pattern where both the current market value account as well as the current market movement account will both be swelling up in profits. OK, so keep that in mind. So those of you who are not sure which way to go and you're not sure if you're going to do current market value do the long term current market movement, more short term. Understand this, when they're both in alignment, both of them swell up, guys. So this is great. Um, I'm going to just kind of scroll down and I'll go through the report. I'll also go to the other account, which is current market movement, so we can see how that is. All right. And this is pretty much where we are. Now, some of these bits are not in profit yet. Again, we just have to wait. This is current market value, guys. So you're going to have to just wait. Some of these assets have some of these assets have gotten into profit right away while some of them haven't profited yet even though it's a long-term holding sometimes you're going to have that but it's going to go through many different patterns over time over the course of a month all right we're going to have some drawdown phases as well as profit phases so hang in there guys this is pretty much how it goes all right now let's go to the other account and this other account is the current market movement account all right and as we can see this one has also gotten up now i know you can't really see the amount but guys you can probably tell just from the scroll a couple of these things had to be closed like there was a bitcoin in here which was causing some issues if you do trade bitcoin which i don't really encourage people to do that unless again if you take our signals yeah but just in general because of the volatility now it really depends on the broker you have there's some brokers when you purchase a bitcoin asset your whole account is like the margin level percent is like getting close to just overweighing your account but I will talk more about that in other videos. But for now, let's kind of just scroll through and see what's going on. Again, you, um, this account belongs to account management member. So we can see what's going on. And you can see a lot of the, um, a lot of the indices are pretty much the ones that are carrying this account especially with the the US 30 also known as the Dow 30 and the FTSE in the UK 100 all right so the markets are doing very well if you have enough resources to invest in the indices market guys do so in com combination with what we provide it's a winning partnership that's all i'm going to say now let's get into the report all right I try to keep these videos short, 
right now i am doing some explanations because this will be public but a lot of the explanations have already been like recorded you can check them out in our archives once you become a member you can become a trial period member you could try it for 10 days we have that we also have a special it's called the winner's special is a 30 days trial if you're interested in that ask us about it if you go to the website there's a button you can click on the 10 day trial link and you'll be able to uh, talk to a representative there and they will be able to help you so let's get to the forex market and kind of see what's going on um, some of these here are still ongoing trends now i'm going to pretty much scroll and some of these like the australian us dollar still under stress but hasn't turned guys so that's pretty good and we see a lot more stresses taking place on some of these as well and today is wednesday so a stress sometimes is an indicator that it's pro is probably going to change direction guys so by the time thursday comes along some of these stressors might change direction so if you're taking these trades and you happen to be holding on to some of these and you see the stress marks and it's that's indicated here in the report and you might say oh, okay i'm already in profit right now I'm doing current market movement. I'm already in profit. Let me just collect since there's some stress taking place right now. It could possibly mean there's a change, but sometimes it won't. But understand that the stress is the indicator that there's something going opposite your current market movement. There's some kind of force, and it's usually from the smaller time frame windows. I'll just uh, tell you that just to keep it real simple. All right, so we're still seeing a lot of uh, stresses, as you can see. So Wednesday looks like might be a very interesting. I'm sorry, Thursday looks like it might be a very interesting trading uh, time. And that's why I told you guys on Thursdays, usually Thursdays are the best time to go ahead and make those decisions to collect. And you can see here that there are some really, really um stress a lot of stress points taking place on a lot of these assets guys very very interesting time but if you would have took in your trade let's say on monday or tuesday by wednesday before all these stressors came boom you would have collected guess what chill out wait for the next update you've made your profit whatever the amount is just be satisfied it's very important to learn to be content as well when you're doing your trading it's easy for us to want to get more out of it it's human nature but try to control that here's one that's a brand new trend this was a stress yesterday this stress ended up changing the dollar mexican peso into a buy so we got a complete reversal why is that well once we go down to the bottom of this report when we look at the dollar we're going to see that the dollar also changed up into a buy current market movement all right so we're going to see a lot of these dollar pairs also react to that that's also very important i spoke to someone before about uh, recently about the uh, futures market video and that has a lot to do with it so when we see the dollar change direction a lot of these dollar pairs will also start to follow suit sometimes even some of the uh, commodities also will follow suit we've seen an early indicator of that with gold because gold is now being sold guys all right and so that's a very strong indicator as to what is going to take place with the dollar they go hand in hand with their movements and sure enough we're seeing a lot of dollar pairs starting to move we got some stressors on the dollar norwegian kroner as well uh this dollar pair is already going up on current market movement against the japanese yen that's because the japanese yen current market movement isn't doing so well i don't really go into the futures on here i used to have them on here but not anymore we got a buy on current market movement with uh, dollar versus swiss franc okay so there's some things happening and we can see some stressors taking place even though some of the other pairs that are dollar related like let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick I thought I was going to try to make this like here, the pound versus the U.S. dollar as a dollar related pair. We can see on the current market movement, there's a stressor taking place, which may indicate that this will not be aligned anymore by tomorrow, guys. And then the uh, pound versus U.S. dollar might actually be a sell off. Be 
because the dollar strength is coming in. Okay, uh, let's see if there's another dollar that will indicate that as well. Uh, we don't have a stressor with the U.S. dollar. There was a stressor yesterday. This one's kind of choppy, but there was another one here that was U.S. dollar related. And that was at the beginning here. And that was the Australian dollar versus U.S. This stressor has been on here for three days straight. I think it might actually give way. We may see a sell off on the Australian dollar versus U.S. dollar. Just remember these videos, guys, and look at the patterns of what I'm talking about. Compare what I'm saying to really what's going on and you will be able to understand how how everything works with what i'm saying just compare it i'm gonna have these charts on here so you can see it for yourself check out the 10-day free trial all right check it out for yourself all right let's see where are we where are we <laughs> all right let's go to commodities definitely uh, alignment with gold straight straight on guys so if you're into gold right now and you want to make some nice little profits this would be a great opportunity to start selling gold right now just to give you a heads up if you want to make some money guys and i know some of you guys are going to take this advice and do it because you're getting it for free right now and you're going to be like oh my goodness i just made some money on gold and you're going to contact us and tell us your whole story all right now again it's the 11th I'm not talking about you guys that are going to be watching this video in a couple of months, like in January, February, Lord willing, depending on what's going on in the world, this crazy mix up world. But you get what I'm saying. If you're in the time frame and it's November 11th, you're watching this on November 11th, November 12th, then you got an idea. All right. The next week, the, that, that date next week on November, boom, you got an idea, especially if you're going to be getting into gold. You're going to be like, whoa, I just sold gold off of gabriel in win university uh the win report wow okay so we have the same situations here no stressors but no stressors but a lot of nice alignments okay i'm not going to go into the new trend on this one here because that that well maybe i should gold is here there's a new uh, a trend gold versus silver um on the current market movement there's strength in gold versus silver so that's just again that's just by comparison there that's all all right that's relative to just those two uh commodities but when you talk about the dollar now there's some stressors here with silver because the overall strength with silver is a buy but it's not that strong on cmv but silver has been doing very well guys from 14 dollars an ounce to I believe like $24 an ounce. If you would have taken that back a couple months, guys, I have some wonderful stories of that. People who had a thousand in their account jumped to 6,000 in a week. But that's an exception to the rule, all right? That does happen, not that often, but it does happen, all right? Because there was an explosion in growth with silver. A very, very high jump in silver. Um, where are we again? Silver versus the euro. There's some stressors on that. So that might actually become a buy. We might see silver being bought again, guys. That's very interesting to see. Um, still not really that confirmed. Uh, it's not confirmed to buy. It's a sale still. But there's definitely some stressors there taking place. So another thing I want to say, too, if you have some stressors on something that you're holding and you're holding it, but you're not making profit, it's still like in the negative that's why because there's something going against there's a force going against your direction all right now if you want to get out of it you can remember that's why it's always good to take these current market movement trades at the beginning of the week not sunday but a monday Tuesday, I made a video about that. I'll be more clear. I'll make some more videos. In fact, I've already spoken about this before. Get the 10-day free trial. Check out the archives. But for those of you who are in the public and you're listening and watching this, get the 10-day free trial. <laughs> All right? And study the information. It will be helpful to you. Trust me. Okay. Platinum. We got platinum definitely being sold and it's it's still an ongoing trend palladium a new trend got that buy action back in palladium 
okay copper now we have uh let's go into uk oil we got some stressors taking place on the short term natural gas and we got oil no stressors taking place on the u.s oil bitcoin very interesting we had some stressors on bitcoin yesterday that stress turned current market movement into a buy so that one completely changed the direction back again so we're looking at some new prices those of you who are looking at bitcoin and you want to know about bitcoin hey guys i've been talking about the value of how to completely trade and which direction is going and knowing where when it's going to buy and when it's going to sell if you're into that thing then get this report because if you're really really into that and you really want to know when the prices are going to go up and when it's going to go down get this report if that's you i'm just going to leave it there same with all these other cryptocurrencies this is what's happening guys this is what's happening indices what's going on with the stock markets around the world this one was very interesting guys i'm going to tell you about this one it was very very interesting a new trend finally took place there was a stressor on china 850 remember yesterday go back to the previous video and see what i'm saying see for yourself compare the charts see it boom okay that's what happened new trend the stressor took over now we're seeing their markets go down okay the US dollar, there was a stressor on that some time ago, and but it's been three days straight. Now we got the buy going up strong with the US dollar. Short term, guys, this is short term. We, we still have yet to see how long that's gonna, how aggressive that's gonna be, if it's strong enough to do anything to the uh, current market value. We have yet to see that. I don't think so. CMV, long term for the dollar, I still am going on a sell for that. All right. Um, DAX 30 still doing very well, going strong. We got some stressors taking place on the Dow Jones. That's still going strong. But we, what's interesting is this. We had some stressors. I'm skip, skipping through these right here. I'm going to go to the U.S. market, the NASDAQ. We had some stressors on the NASDAQ, remember? And this is a new trend. It should be zero, guys. I should have changed to zero. So this, the, there was a uh, new trend because yesterday was a sell we thought we saw the nasdaq starting to go into a sell direction we thought it was going to be a new beginning of a new downturn but boom that all changed market short term went right back up again and now we're seeing another bullish rally so very interesting sometimes you have that with current market movement all right so that was a switch between a tuesday and a wednesday but if you jump on this now on a zero, that zero right here indicates it's a brand new opportunity there. You may be able to do something between a Wednesday, which is today, and a Thursday and Friday and come up with something on a Friday. Sometimes that'll happen too on current market movement. So you have that scenario where on a Monday you could take a trade and then collect on a Wednesday. But in this case, on a Monday, it was stressed tuesday it turned to sell wednesday left that went right back up again and it may continue to go up for wednesday thursday and friday maybe until friday okay okay i typically don't really encourage you to keep any indices trades till a friday because fridays are so crazy especially during the u.s market hours it's best to not even participate. That's just me, you know, unless you're holding CMV, but current market movement, the best time to collect if you're gonna start at the beginning is on a Thursday. If you up for the risk, then go on a Friday. But remember the market closes early on Friday. Keep that in mind too. Same thing happened with the S&P 500 guys. Same story that I just gave with the NASDAQ happened with the S&P 500. We got some stressors taking place on the volatility index it may cause the volatility index to actually start to become uh, buy on the current market movement which means that we might see some extreme volatility between tomorrow thursday and friday all right that's it for the report guys go to the website you want to know everything that we're about there's something called the winner starter pack Go to the first page, the home page of the website, download it, 
It's going to be like the second uh, video down with the little emoji scratching his head. There's a little button there. You can download it. All right. Guys, see you on the next update. God bless.